percent of consumer goods that leave the manufacturer's warehouse are actually sent back to retailers thanks to defects. And believe it or not, there's actually an opportunity there to have these products refurbished and sold back to the consumer. Well, a Delhi-based startup decided to cash in, and Surbhi Goel brings us their story. Get a new Samsung Eco Storm washing machine for 20% off. Or join a new ISB microwave or LG refrigerator in your kitchen purchased at 30% less than the MRP. This is no winter sale offer but an offer from Green Just that refurbishes new defective products with genuine bugs and sells them at factory seconds. Simply put, the startup operates in the space of reverse logistics. When products are supplied from the manufacturer to the distributor to the retailer, 4% of them end up with a defect of some sort. Instead of these products being returned to the manufacturer, Green Dust intervenes, refurbishes these products and resells them online at a big discount. A business model which has worked very well for Hitens and the Green Dust team. If you quantify this 4%, this is about $15 billion worth of product that actually gets returned every year. What we do is this, we tell OEMs or these manufacturers that uh, uh, you are great at managing your forward supply chain, focus on your core competency, while let us manage uh, your reverse logistics or reverse supply chain for that matter. And uh, so we become a catalyst for these companies to properly manage their reverse logistics, including electronic waste. So their costs are reduced. He tamed the Chaturvedi step into reverse logistics in 2008 when he realized that purchased unused branded factory seconds can be offered to customers at a discounted price. His first step was to tie up with retailers like Future Bazaar, convince manufacturers and get a warehouse to keep and refurbish defective products. The biggest challenge he faced though was a marketing one in changing both consumer and manufacturer mindset towards defective products. With the manufacturers was just educating on them what the potential of reverse logistics is and what the amount of value that they're losing. The biggest challenge is again educating customers that you can actually trust a refurbished factory seconds product. Changing consumer mindset did take some time, but Green Dust finally saw some traction by signing up with white goods manufacturers Samsung, LG Hire and Lenovo. The biggest value proposition was in the monetization of their defective inventory. We've uh, got into this with Green Dust because it's helped us tremendously in, in uh, ensuring that none of our products uh, are uh, turned into scrap and basically it helps us in terms of our transportation, it helps in terms of ensuring that these products get recycled and reused. And uh, it's cut down on our logistics costs, it's cut down on our overall blockage of capital. Green Dust has a two-pronged distribution strategy. An online one where it sells products online through greendust.com and other a franchised store network spread across 30 cities. Green Dust saw a great connect with Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Cities and towns where consumers find great value in purchasing aspirational brands at low prices. It's a hit proposition. And uh, uh, from the point of view of customer, it's beneficial because of the very attractive prices. And uh, they come back again and again. Green Dust has scaled up to a point now where it has over two like paying customers. Traction which enabled them to raise 30 crore rupees from Sherpalo Ventures and Reliance Ventures in 2010. Investors who see great value in the reverse logistics business model. Reverse logistics is an essential component of any consumption that takes place. So anytime something is sold, something is getting returned. And so as a result, our growth prospect is linked, uh, is linked very tightly to the fact that we're seeing growth in general in consumption in India. So today we started with 
uh, mobile, electronics, home appliances, some of these basic categories. There, there's an opportunity to diversify across categories. There's an opportunity to extend our distribution reach into multiple products that may not necessarily simply be focused on, uh, on reverse supply chain driven products. Purchasing the factory seconds at a discount of 50 to 60 percent from OEM players, Green Dust sells the refurbished products with a margin of 20 to 40 percent, both online and offline. Of this, online sales constitutes for 50 percent of the sale. By selling directly to consumers, Green Dust has managed to garner revenues of 100 crore rupees and expect to touch 1500 crore rupees by 2014. Impressive growth, no doubt, but experts believe that while Green Dust has mastered the refurbishing process, it's also important that it improves its positioning as a web e-commerce platform. This company is in the business of marketing. So if this startup can really focus front-end 85%, back-end 15%, I think it will do well. By that I mean... 15% is your refurbishment business, which you can do at the back end quietly. But the 85%, you're going to generate a market. You're going to build a database of people who actually buy this kind of stuff. You're going to get aggressive online and create, you know, sustenance mechanisms online where you have guys coming to you all the time and picking you up. And, and not only that, you're also going to mine that database. The startup has big plans for scaling their business and it expects to grow to 100 stores from the current 30 by the year end. Scaling the e-commerce solution in an extremely crowded market is one challenge they will no doubt have to wrap their heads around. It's the clear focus on the refurbishing model that will hold green dust in a good position. So next time you're returning a faulty fridge to the retailer, you might be well helping green dust reach its growth targets.